LHHS does its best to create a positive and supportive environment for its students. LHHS Feminism Club has been working closely with administration this year to make sure it stays that way when it comes to sexual assault and harassment, as well as the dress code that we have in our school. Okay, so FHS did, like, protest. Um, it was a really bad idea and wasn't organized well. Uh, and, yeah, that kind of blew up in their faces. Um, and, yeah, there was that and that. So here we're trying to do it uh, a little more peacefully, I guess, even though we shouldn't have to worry about that, but nonetheless, that is what is going on. So we're talking to teachers, uh, we're doing a presentation tomorrow, um, just informing them on what is going on and trying to get, is this move? No. It feels like it's moving. Trying to get more people... Uh, to go along with that, I guess. Are we currently in the Dreamcatcher room? We are. I'm about to do a presentation for some narrow-minded teachers. Talk about the dress code. Try and sway their opinions a little bit. See what we can do. We have a little introduction. It's Rayon Fizendel. I'm Janelle Wilson. I'm the co president of our feminism club here. I am Liz Gray. I'm also co president. I'm Abby Moser, future co president. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also the co president. Is it our responsibility, yeah. responsibility to treat students and assign them the responsibility of a job and therefore dictate what they can wear and can't wear because it's a job description? I'm not sure we have the right to do that because your job, you are here, we are here to provide you your right to education. We are paid to do that. I think if you look at universities, yep. which is where they're going next, oh. I attended university for five <laughs> years or college. Hmm. I'm just talking about yep. post secondary yep. education in general. Yep. They don't have such a thing as a good one. Um. The meeting was good, and um, it started off really terribly because all the teachers had this like sense of entitlement of like, like I don't need to listen to you, you're small. And after like two and a half hours of discussion, they finally started listening a little, <clears throat> emphasis on a little, and um, yeah, we got like, we made some progress at least. Um, just with like um, expressing our opinions and how we felt. And, and I just remember at the end of the meeting being like, I don't actually care about the dress code this much. Like, it's not about the dress code. It's about the fact that we're using a dress code to cover girls up to stop boys from sexually assaulting them instead of teaching boys that it's wrong to sexually assault people. Like, kind of taking the temptation away instead of like teaching boys that girls aren't inherently sexual <laughs> but I think by the end of it they actually did start to listen to us listen to us at least a little bit um the VP said they were going to talk to Mr. Church about that day we haven't heard back from them yet but we have a club meeting tomorrow a feminism club meeting so we'll see if we and Sheffrey have heard anything that they have to share with us and that might be fun <laughs> we'll, so we'll see where that goes I guess